65 people have been killed in Nigeria's northeastern Borna state after allegedly being attacked by an Islamist group. They were part of a group of people returning from a funeral. There was no immediate claim of responsibility, but Boko Haram and its rival, Islamic State, are known to operate there. Governor of Borno State, Babagana Omara Zulam, has expressed his condolences to the victims' families. Scores of people have been killed in Nigeria in one of the deadliest attacks on civilians in recent years. They attacked them at the graveyard. A local official said that the victims were returning from a funeral in the northeastern Borno region when they were attacked. There was no immediate claim of responsibility, but Boko Haram and rival Islamic State in West Africa are known to attack the area. Borno State Governor Babagana Umaru Zulum expressed his condolences to the victims. Personally came here to condole them. I sincerely sympathize with the families, and may Almighty Allah in his impenied wisdom admit them to genital pyridos, and may the families bear the portrait of this irreparable loss. President Buhari condemned the attack in a statement and directed the military to hunt down the perpetrators. The conflicts in Borno have lasted a decade. Militants have killed thousands, and millions more have fled from their homes. A local artist is using her craft to promote the rights of the country's LGBTQI community. Zanele Moholi's latest exhibition focuses on this issue. Even though South Africa recognizes the rights of this community, homophobic and transphobic violence persists. These are the faces of South Africa's LGBT community. Despite gay rights being enshrined in law, Homophobic and transphobic violence is a major problem, as is a lack of representation in art and society. For more than a decade, photographer Zanele Muholi has been making sure the culture and history of LGBT South Africans stays in focus. I'm a visual activist. I'm pushing an agenda here. I'm using these visuals in order for people to get the grip of our lives to get our stories and have an understanding of like beyond just what they see when projected on TV. We are educated, we are talented, we are thinkers, we are creatives. We're contributing towards a South African you know, economy in many ways. Our existence pays so many people's bills, so people need to get that. Moholi's Faces and Phases exhibition is on display at the Stevenson Gallery in Johannesburg. I think it's great. I think it's amazing. I think uh, for me, it's opening my eyes to another level. Her works have been shown across the world, including New York and the Venice Biennale. And she's been given honorary titles in France and Britain. Some pieces have sold for over 10,000 US dollars. Moholi says her greatest success is not the accolades, but telling the stories of her 500 subjects. A Nigerian entrepreneur is revolutionizing mobility and easing traffic congestion with an old-fashioned mode of transport, the bicycle, but with a modern twist. AWA Bikes offers flexible, convenient and affordable transport in Lagos through an app. There are more than 100,000 bikes available from various stations to use on a pay-as-you-go system. Founder Iefolua Ogendipe explains. Hi. My name is Ife Oluwa and I'm the founder of Our Bike, a mobility company that hopes to revolutionize mobility in Nigeria and Africa. Using Our Bike is so easy. All you have to do is download the app from either your Google Play Store or your Apple iOS Store. Once you've downloaded the app and you've signed up and registered, all you have to do is tap Find a Bike. I moved to, to France for my studies, and um, the whole time I was there, uh, I found myself using a bicycle. And it, it really just hit me like, why can we not, or why do we not use bicycles? You know, it's a really practical way, especially in a city like Lagos, to move around. Um, that was where the seed of that thought was planted. Um, so what we're trying to do is to see if we can sort of use one stone to kill two birds, you know, um, offer Nigerians a solution that allows them more flexibility, you know, reducing traffic and reducing commuting times, and at the same time also preserve the environment. 
options in terms of mobility are limited to just either buses or, or shuttles. And truth be told, they're not enough. You know, so it's, it's been really good for us and it's been really good for the students and also people that live in these communities because what we've been able to do is to give them another way to move around. We've been able to give them another way to exercise. We've been able to give them another way to stay fit, another way to have fun. And that's where we'll leave it for this edition of Hashtag Africa. But do keep the conversation going online. Our Twitter handle is at Africa underscore ENCA. We'll leave you with the pictures from across the continent. I'm Rofi Wamadzana and join us again next week for more news and views on Hashtag Africa. Hambagathe Kwaheri. Goodbye. Thank you.